In today's video, I will be showing you all of these brand new mythical pads and what the mythical egg update could look like inside of Adopt Me. Trust me guys, you're gonna love it. Today, we are playing the Adopt Me Mythical Egg Update. That's correct, everything you see right here is custom made in Adopt Me to look like what the mythical egg will look like. So everything we're looking at right now could be included in this brand new update that we expect to come into Adopt Me shortly. But before this video begins, be sure to go and enter my giveaway. Simply leave this video a thumbs up, subscribe and comment down below to enter. I'm giving away 10 legendaries so be sure to go and enter. Also here's some trade proofs um, on the screen right now I guess. So what we're currently looking at is a concept made by my friend and we're gonna go and see what this will look like. So straight away we can see that the whole of the Adopt Me map has actually changed color which is so cool. I'd love to see Adomi actually go and change the whole color of their map to go and match the new mythical egg. And everything here just looks so, so cool. So we'll notice by seeing that there are these new pets scattered around. This is a hybrid of a goat, a snake, and a lion, because you know, that seems normal. Over here we have an egg, um, which is a fairy egg. This was pretty cool. I mean, we already know what the egg will look like. Adomi actually went and confirmed the egg themselves, which is why we're all expecting to see a mythical egg. I mean, they might pull like a prank on us and, and it, it turns out to be like a mermaid egg or something. <laughs> But considering Adomi actually posted a survey saying that what egg should they do next, people said ocean egg, then they said mythical egg, there's a high chance that this is going to be a mythical egg in Adopt Me. So let's go and check out this map, see what's included, see some of these awesome looking pets, and find out more. So the first thing that has been changed is the nursery. It seems that they have combined the sky castle with the nursery, which actually looks really cool. They've also gone and put a bunch of these little fairies and made a fairy egg. Overall, this part is very cool. I also like the addition of these little crystals. I think crystals look amazing and personally, I just like crystals. Over here at the school, we can see that there again is two large pillars resembling mythical stuff. And then there is a cute little dog, which seems to be in, I'm not sure what the name of this is, but it looks like it's like broken its legs or something. Um, so it needs to have one of these little machines, which is so cute. And yeah, um, save the animals, guys. I'm not sure what this one is. I want you guys to go and name this animal down below in the comment section. So if you have an idea of what you think this pet is, be sure to go and let me know what you think it is, because I got no clue. I've got no idea what this is. It could be a hamster. It could be a a blob of ice cream for all I know. The next thing that they updated is what's inside the gift. Uh, I don't know what this is. It kind of looks like some new egg. It kind of looks like a griffin egg. Uh, let me know also what you think this is. I, I don't really know what it is. Maybe it's a, a plush, a legendary, or maybe it's, it's meant to be a vehicle, aren't they? They're always vehicles. So I guess this is a giant egg vehicle. That's kind of funny though. Over here, we have a, uh, a little toucan. Is this a toucan, guys? I don't know. I've showed this off in my concept video before. Uh, but you know what? I like the fact that this guy's just kind of perched on here. It's kind of cool. So let's go and cross over the bridge. Uh, I mean, not everything's perfect, right? <laughs> We're going to cross over the bridge and just sometimes run through it, you know. Um, over on the other side, we have... Whoa, what is this dude? A, a flying rabbit antelope. Well, hey, I love it. There is actually a massive collection of all of these mythical pet ideas, but wait until the end, and I'll be sure to go and show you every single one. So you guys are going to have to keep watching until the end of that video if you want to see a list of every single one of those pets. Over here is a very nice wolf. Griffin, Fox, uh, you know, all the classics. So one of the main things that I noticed is that there is a large gap for the mountains. So let's go and see why there is a large gap. There are some big boulders. These remind me of the Glymphodon Adopt Me pets. I think you guys know what I'm on about, like this fossil pet. It kind of looks exactly like this. So I wonder what this is for. Um, it does look like they set up a nice little like a little picnic area and then it got a bit windy and then there was a storm and then it just kind of all blew away um i don't know if that was meant to happen but hey um one thing that is very cool 
is that if we look into the distance with our binoculars, we can see a massive diamond shadow dragon. This dude is so far away, but I mean, it's so cool to just stare at. It's kind of like an ancient god. So this guy is actually so cool. I really wish it thought we would add something like that. I know they did say that they want to go and do reruns of old pets, but I very much doubt it would be of a shadow dragon. And if they did, I don't think they would make a diamond shadow dragon. But overall, that is a very cool pet. Let's go and keep checking out what that is. This is the lovely Slinky Dog concept that was in my previous Adopt Me competitions. Oh, is this a neon version of that guy? Okay, so we saw this one at the beginning. This is a neon version. I love to see like pet ideas as neon as it just makes them look so much cooler. It gives you like a better understanding of like how they would be inside the video game. I just kind of want to, you know, steal it. It's mine. It's mine. Yeah, I wish I could, but you know, it's in the game, so I guess I can't. The water reminds me of like cotton candy. It kind of looks like you can just like drink it. I really want to drink this water, probably because I'm thirsty right now, but who doesn't like the look of pink water? It's very yummy. This right here is a neon axolotl. An axolotl is a very cool actual real life animal. It's a pretty strange looking lizard that can either live in water or out of water. Also, the game Overlook Bay just recently introduced this, and I feel like Adopt Me is actually considering going and making one, because in their recent Adopt Me news, they liked to go and feature fan art of an axolotl concept. And the fact that they shared a concept of an axolotl might mean that something like this would come into the game in the future, definitely something to look forward to. Plus, basically, whatever comes into Overlook Bay then comes into Adopt Me a couple weeks later. There's like some inside job going on there. Because, I mean, the ladybug went into Overlook Bay one week later, it then comes into Adopt Me, so something seems a bit sus. I'm not sure what this is. I think it's like a Loch Ness Monster type of looking pet. Overall, pretty cool. I, I think it's missing some feet. Maybe it's meant to be a fish. Maybe it doesn't need feet. It's mythical. It doesn't need to make sense, does it? It looks cool, nice colors, it kind of looks like Barney the Dinosaur. I give it a 7 out of 10. I like the extra decorations of going and adding like these little clouds and the waterfall. Like these fun little clouds are actually really fun looking. Oh, they've even made this water pink. The amount of details put into this map is actually so well made. So a big shout out to my man Cool Panda for going and making this. This is so awesome. Uh, it's got the old baby shop. If you want to say goodbye to the baby shop because it's now been updated, then I guess you can go and do so. So let's let's give it a kiss goodbye. Mwah! There you go. I regret that already. Okay, so is this the egg? This looks like the egg vehicle. I don't know, Griffin Gold Egg. This is the fairy egg, and you can go and hatch an adorable looking fairy. Over here we have the axolotl, normal, and neon. Oh, I guess this one's normal and this one's neon. I guess. That's kind of cool. Um, over here we have the hybrid. Then we have the sea monster. Then a jackalope. Okay. I like the texture and the wings on this thing. I, I haven't seen that before. Oh, the neon one. It kind of looks like the arctic reindeer, guys. Probably because it is basically like inspired from it. So that's pretty cool. This is called a Chimera, I think is how you pronounce it. So it's basically a snake. Oh, the amount of details. They got glowing snake eyes, glowing horns, glowing eyes. This is so wavy. I love this one. I like the amount of detail. It's like three pets combined into one. That's why I think there's just like so much detail put into this one, which is why it's so cool. All right, this one. Oh, it's a Pegasus. So many of you guys wanted to see a Pegasus. And this one's adorable. So it's basically just a unicorn with wings. So kind of like a griffin mixed with a unicorn. Very, very cool looking concept. I very much like it. All right, over here we have some evil looking pets, such as this sus looking mustache dog. His mouth just kind of, something's, something's not right, guys. Something is not right about this dog. I can't put my finger on it. Actually, it has no ears. That's why this dog looks sus, and his mouth, his mouth looks like a, a slug, okay? They got a slug, oh, hold on, 
I touched the dog and it gave me a witch's hat. Are you kidding me? What? How did that happen? I literally touched the dog and I now am dressed up as a witch. Alright guys, stay away from the dog. I think it's haunted. Uh, is an angel dog. Please make me an angel. No. Um, a zombie. A zombie um, evil unicorn. Very nice. Very nice. This dude, I forgot what it's called. A candy unicorn. And then the chocolate Labrador with a broken leg. It reminds me of the new 101 Dalmatians Disney film. They actually featured a dog which had like broken legs. To go and like show awareness to animals that are injured and to go and adopt animals rather than buying them because um, animals need help and support from adoption shelters. So I definitely go and do that if I was you and you wanted to buy a pet. Overall, very cool looking map. I love the design of it and the colors of this thing literally look amazing. Be sure to leave this video a thumbs up. Let me know what videos you want to see next down below in the comment section. I hope you guys have a great and fantastic day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Also, if it's your birthday, happy birthday. You start good candy. Bye.